I S U P K. Man, I ain't mean to cut you off. What's your name? I need to ask your name. What's your name? You wish you knew. I understand. I'll give you a name. I'll call you Miss White Woman for right now, right? Check this out, Miss White Woman. Now, you said Rothschild is the devil. You understand? You agree Rothschild is the devil. And you said Rothschild comes from your family. So, would you agree that you're a devil as well? You don't agree? Do you agree? What you want is irrelevant up here. We don't come out here for what you want or what anybody wants. We come out here to tell the truth according to God. Give me Romans 9 and 13. According to God, I'll tell you how he feels about you and your people. Not just the Rothschilds, not just the Bilderbergs, not just this secret society and the Illuminati and all these conspiracies. This is the problem with these oppressors. They believe in conspiracies and they like to lump themselves with black people. They like to think that it's the rich versus the poor when really it's white versus black. Everything is about race. And the white race, you understand, has been absolutely merciless when it comes to their hatred for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand? What black people go through in America is worse than what the so-called Jewish man went through in the Holocaust. It's worse than what your forefathers went through. Come back this way, Miss White Woman. You understand? You ask the question, I'm gonna ask you a question. Miss White Woman, I'm going to call you Susie. Susie, come back right here. I'm going to answer your question because you asked, are you the devil? And I'm going to tell you how God feels about you, Susie. You want to know how God feels? I'm going to show you in the Bible. You understand? I'm going to show you what God says. You understand? Not the lies of the Christian church. This is what God says straight out of the Bible. Read. Come on, come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, as it is written. Now, this is the problem with the goddamn Christian church and that religion of white supremacy. You always talk about God this and Jesus that, but you don't open the goddamn book. You're full of lies. And the Christian church is the reason why the black community is destroyed. Christianity is the reason why black men sell drugs to their own people. Why black men murder each other. Because you're teaching lies. You come out here and talk about feel good and blessings when black people are dying. Where was all that feel good and blessings for the Buffalo victims? Did any of those prayers say the Buffalo victims? No, it didn't. Because the Lord is not hearing the prayers of you Christians. Because Christians do the work of Satan and not of God. And I can prove it. You say God loves everybody. That's a goddamn lie. And I can show you right here. Read that, brother. Come on, come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. This is in the Bible. Christians love talking about God and Jesus, but they don't even open the goddamn book. If you want to find out what God feels on any matter, you have to go into the Bible. Why do Christians don't have their Bibles? You understand? You know why? Because Christians don't give a damn about what God says. Christians hate God. They hate the God of the Bible. And I'm going to show you right here that God does not love everybody. I'll prove it to you. Read. As it is written. Jacob have my love, but Esau have my hated. Read that again. As it is written. As it is written. Where is it written? Right here in the Bible. The book that you hate to read. The book that you hate to go into. You know why? Because the moment you actually go into the Bible, you realize that the doctrine of Christianity is contradicting the entire Bible. Christians don't follow this book. I'll show you right here in black and white. They say God loves everybody. Let's find out what God says right here. Read it again. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. And this is in the New Testament for you Christians that believe God did away with the Old Testament. For you Christians that believe that there's a new covenant because Jesus Christ came and died for your sins. Well, this is in the New Testament right here, Christians. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Who? 
Jacob have our love. Jacob have our love. Jacob, according to the Bible, is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Who are the 12 tribes of Israel today? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are the people of this Bible. And the oppressor has confused our people into us not knowing we are the people of this book. The Bible says the Jews are black. The Jews have never been white. The Jews have never been Ethiopian. The Jews have never been anybody else except who God says they are. And God says, as it is written, Jacob have our love. God loves the children of Jacob. God loves the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand? Keep reading. Now, Christians, you can agree to this because you say God loves everybody, right? Where are the Christians at? They scatter when the Lord words is being read. You know why? Because they can't answer for the lies that they teach it, that they push it. God. What faith are we? We are the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge, starting out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Hall, New York, under commanding General Yohanan. We teach the truth according to the Bible. And that's that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews. And that the oppressor, the colonizer, the slave master, your people are the devil. Do you agree your people are the devil? No sweat. Wait right there. I'll come back to you. I got a point to prove. Read this. As it is written, Jacob have our love. God loves the 12 tribes of Israel. This Bible is talking to one set of people. Do you know that? What's your name? And, and you know this Bible is talking to one set of people, right? Did you know that? One set of people. A specific set of people. Who? I can prove you wrong. Do you believe God loves everybody? I can prove you wrong too. Read it again from the top. Tell her where you at. Come. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 9, verse 13. Do you have a Bible, Ann? You don't? Okay. You're not Christian. I understand. Well, I'm going to tell you what God says of the Bible, okay? We're not Christians either. Because Christians don't teach what's in this book. Christianity and the Bible are two separate entities. You say you believe God loves everybody. I'm going to show you that that's a lie. And you are a Christian and you don't know it. Read. It is written, Jacob have a love. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Keep reading. But Esau. But who? Esau. You know Esau in his hand? Absolutely right. And not only is he, is he the older brother of Jacob, he is the progenitor, the forefather of the so-called white race. You understand? The Bible describes Esau. It gives his appearance. And the Bible says this about Esau, about your forefather, about your people. Read. But Esau have I hated. Have I what? Hated. Hold on, brother. God loves everybody. Hated. Hate is not in the Bible. God is all love. But Esau have I hated. Spell that word, brother. Esau. E Spell the word hate. H A T E D. Now you just said God loves everybody. And you just said God loves everybody. So now the question is which God loves everybody? Because the God of the Bible does not love everybody. That's the false teacher. Read it again. That was so the Bible is a false teacher? So the Bible is a false teacher? Well, listen, that's the problem. Your people don't have a belief. I know your belief, your people's God is money. And that's why you treat everybody like trash. Right. And it benefits your people, you do whatever you can and say whatever benefits your people because money is your God. Because I can understand why you wouldn't believe in the Bible. Here's the beautiful thing. This Bible is not talking to your people anyways. God just says what he feels about your people. Read it again. This is for Anne and the Christians that's praying for everybody because they think God loves everybody. Read it from the top. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. This right here for you, Ann. Jacob have our love. Jacob have our love. God does have a people that he loves. He does love his people. Read. But he loves everybody. But Esau have I hated. So how the hell you say God loves everybody when the Bible says Esau have he hated? You don't believe in God. You believe in what you can do to make yourself feel good. That's your God. You are your God. The same way with all your people. That's why y'all marching up and down in D.C. voting for gay rights, for abortion rights, because whatever is convenient for you, that's what you serve. And that's the problem with America. They have built this nation off of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans' backs. They built this nation off of our destruction. And they maintain this nation by our ignorance. 
Will we be like Ann? We are destroyed like a, as a people. She just claimed to love God and claimed to follow God, but then she said God's words are a lie. She said God's words are a false belief. You know why? Because like I just said, Christians hate God. Christians hate what's in this Bible. God does not love everybody. It says it right here. If God loves everybody, can a Christian come explain this? Who are all the goddamn Christians that everybody claim to know the Bible? Explain to me why does God hate Esau? You can't tell me why. I can, I can tell you why. Give me Obadiah 1 and 10. These Christians don't read the Bible, man. You should leave that Christian church. You should ignore that goddamn prayer that they want to give you. Praying for blessings when they don't even know what a blessing is. They don't know what a curse is. They don't know what a blessing is. You know how you know? Because they go to a church where their children are molested. Where men are effeminate. Where women are destroyed and broken and bitter and lonely. But you continue to go back to that place. You clearly don't know right from wrong. And that's why God hates the oppressor. Because Christianity is the religion of our oppressor. Christianity is the religion that was forced on our people through the sword to keep us slaves. And just like good Christians today, the only answer Christians have to all our problems is just to pray. This is a prayer. That's not going to work, Christians. And this is why everybody's leaving the goddamn church. Y'all can fake the folk all you want to, but the, the proof is in the pudding. Black people are waking up to them lies you're telling in the churches. That's why black people and Hispanics are leaving the churches in droves. That's why y'all struggling to keep your membership up. Because black people understand they've been lied to. You can keep believing in that false garbage all you want to. Brothers are seeing what it is. Brothers are seeing the truth of what it is, man. And it's not in the church. You understand? We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanan. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization. And we teach the truth according to the Bible. And that's that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews, and that the oppressor is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Go ahead and bring it out, brother. Powerful priest for hands. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons, and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper, a toilet, I'm number two. Camp full of animals, like I'm running the zoo. Call me Ty Warhol, even call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.